Hey subscribers, welcome back. Today I have another review for you guys. I actually posted a review and demo of the new Benefit Air Patrol BB Eye Primer and I asked you guys at the end of my video if you wanted to see more reviews on my channel and then one of the new products I definitely wanted to review was requested and it's the new Too Faced Stardust by Vegas Nay eyeshadow palette. It comes in a big thick box like this and then inside you'll find your gorgeous little slim palette which is very very skinny, really easy to travel with. You have 12 eyeshadows in here full size. You get six of these little eye charts in here which show you six different eye looks that you can create with this palette and when you turn them around it shows you step by step exactly what colors to use, what brushes, what process, what kind of blending techniques to use to recreate these six eye looks, which I think that's awesome. I love how Too Faced always includes eye charts. The palette itself, I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. I was wearing it yesterday as well. I've been playing with it all week. And I really like it. I think it's amazing. I like how there's a lot of transitional shades. There's a lot of neutrals. But then you have some really fun, shimmery, glittery kind of accent colors as well. I'm actually wearing these three on the top row right now, along with this plummy color at the very bottom and to highlight the brow bone and inner tear duct I'm wearing this bright one in the second row right here. So the first thing I'd like to say about these eyeshadows is how creamy and how easy they are to blend. They give a lot of pigmentation. The colors are true to the eyelids as they are in the pan. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes the colors don't give off a lot of pigmentation when you go and buy an eyeshadow. Not with these. You get what you pay for. You get what you see. This is definitely worth every penny. These two colors up here are my favorite. So Millennial is this gorgeous camel kind of latte, peachy brown, great transitioning shade. So I use that all over my crease. And to darken out the outer V and kind of accent that a little bit for a smokier look, I use this one called Girls Night, which is a darker kind of java, chocolatey brown, great color. And then all over the lid, from the base of my lash line to the bottom of my brow, I use this one called Chandelier. It looks like a matte shade, and it is pretty matte, but it has a nice subtle shimmer to it, so it works great to kind of set that eyeshadow primer. And to give it another test, I actually primed my lids today using the Benefit Air Patrol, and it's working out quite well really does produce a lot of pigmentation to my eyeshadows and it helps them last. So I'm going to go more in depth of what these colors are and what they look like close up with some swatches so you guys can get a better idea. And this palette, or rather this box set, is $45, I believe. It's $45. It was just released on September 6th, so last Sunday. And I got the chance to play with it before it came out and I've really been loving it. I think it's a great deal because you get 12 full-size eyeshadows. You get a deluxe size of the Better Than Sex Mascara, which I'm also wearing today. I love this mascara. If I could only choose one mascara to repurchase and use for the rest of my life, it would have to be this one. I don't know what it is about this mascara, but it makes me feel like I have false lashes on without looking like I'm wearing false lashes. It's just a great enhancer to my natural lashes. It lengthens them, it volumizes them, it curls them, and it stays. It holds that curl all day long. I've tried the Benefit Roller Lash, it's nice, but nothing will compare to the Better Than Sex from Too Faced. And then it also comes with a deluxe size of the Shadow Insurance from Too Faced. Another great eyeshadow primer, I really like it. The only reason I didn't use it today is because I wanted to test out that Benefit one one more time, see how it worked with the pigmentation of these shadows. But this is another great eyeshadow primer, definitely my top three. And then it comes with the piece de resistance glamour dust and it's called nude beam and it's this gorgeous glittery loose eye pigment it's so 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 pretty i'm scared of spilling it all over the carpet so what i'm going to do is insert a close-up photo that i took of it earlier so you guys can get a better look at that and this would work well if you wet your brush first and kind of patted it all over the lid i haven't played with it yet because i feel it's a little bit messy and it's also a little bit um it's a little bit more for a dressier night maybe a night out on the town, but I'm really excited to play with it. I did swatch it on my hand, it's gorgeous. So to kind of go over the rows of eyeshadow that we're given here, I would say the first row is the most neutral, the one that I would gravitate towards the most. I love my browns, I just gravitate towards warm colors. So we have Chandelier, it's just a really pretty brightening, semi-matte, semi-shimmery shade. And then that Millennial color, the great transitioning shade, it's more of a sort of latte brown, which I think is a little bit different than anything else I own. And then Girls Night is a dark java brown, which is a gorgeous chocolatey brown. Then in the next row we have that hashtag selfie, a great, great highlighting color. I love this one. Showgirl is more of a bronzy kind of almost autumn foil kind of color, really great color. And then Jackpot is an even darker, bronzier, more shimmery, chocolatey, very, very, very um, foiled like finish. Pink Pearl is exactly that, it's just a nice shimmery pink. The strip is a light lavender kind of shimmery shade. It does kind of remind me of the Urban Decay Tonic eyeshadow. It's in that light, light lavender purpley kind of family. And then Follow Me is a deep, fun, 
what I like to call royal purple. But it has these really light periwinkle shimmery flecks to it, so it's really fun when it catches the light. Double Tap is that plummy shade I used to darken and deepen my outer V. I really love plummy colors, especially with dark brown eyes. I think it's a really fun shade. And then Golden Nugget is your gorgeous true gold, the shimmeriest, prettiest gold. And then last but not least is the darkest, the most matte black you will ever find in any eyeshadow palette. This one is amazing. If you love matte black shadows, look no further. Get this palette because you'll have that, plus all these other gorgeous shimmery shades. So there really aren't many matte shades in here apart from these two in the top, which I loved and used today, Millennial and Girls Night. These are the only matte shades in here. But again, if you're looking for shimmery colors or you don't have many shimmery colors in your collection, this might be a good one to own because you do have a couple of matte ones in the top, your neutrals and your transitioning shades, and then you have really, really fun sparkling ones to play with to accent your eyes. <laughs> shade which I think is fun. This should be great for New Year's Eve. I can see myself playing with these shimmery golds and these sparkly purples and maybe do a really fun funky out of my box, out of my comfort zone kind of eye tutorial. So if you guys want to see more looks with this eyeshadow palette let me know in the comment box below and let me know what you think of this. If you guys have already picked this up or if you've swatched it in the store what you think about this and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.